Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are we're back playing Katawa Shoujo. It's been it's been a while since I've played Katawa Shoujo. Um But yeah, we are here now. So let's I I get we should just click start, right? Uh You haven't been forgotten. Uh you haven't been forgetting to take your medicine, have you? I'm catching a little murmur. You should take it easy for a few days. The, the nurse's words hurt me far more than the exhaustion of the morning run ever could. I knew I should have kept quiet. I keep my eyes on the floor, feeling like a complete idiot. Of course, I... I hadn't been remembering to take my uh didn't take my medicine. I've been ru I've been rushing out of my room to get to the track for Emmy. After the track meet a few days ago, I felt inspired. So I've been running warm-up laps in the morning before Emmy shows up. But then today, uh while she and I were running, I felt a little pain in my chest. It was only slight and it was only for a second. So I mentioned it to the nurse. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I kept running and finished just fine. Uh, so really, it couldn't have been that bad. Oh, uh, why do I feel like I'm making excuses to the nurse? Moreover, why do I feel a need to justify continuing to run despite the pain? Really, it comes down to my being unwilling to concern Emmy who seems concerned anyway. I'm not sure how she I'm not sure how she was able to tell there was anything wrong, but she claims I stumbled a little. She's the she's the one who insisted I tell the nurse. So now I feel bad for worrying her at all. The nurse is shaking his head uh, ruefully while Emmy um, uh, paces outside the room. Hisao, I know it's difficult for you to get into a new routine, but if if you don't want to find yourself in a lot of trouble, you're going to have to try harder. You can't afford to forget your pills, and you can't push yourself too hard. But uh, if I um, but if I don't push myself, uh, how will I improve? The point is, you're helping her, even if you don't know you are. And she's grateful for that, even if she never says it. What do you mean, even if she never says it? But, uh, Emmy doesn't talk a lot, but she and I have known each other long enough that I can read her mo uh, for most of the time. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll admit it, I have no idea what he's talking about. Emmy always seems pretty talkative to me. I see. The nurse suddenly realizes that he's been rambling and stops talking. Uh, looking a little embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to stop your morning exercise. But just walk the track instead of running for a few days. Uh, let things calm down. And take your damned medicine! I laugh as I exit the office, bumping straight into Emmy. Oops, uh, sorry about that. Are you okay? What did the nurse say? Uh, do you need to go to the hospital? Uh, oh my gosh, it was my fault, wasn't it? I've been pushing you too hard, haven't I? I'm a horrible person! The words pour forth like a torrent. She's really agitated. I didn't expect her to be this concerned about me, to be honest. Gotta calm her down, but how the hell do I do that? I do the only thing I can think of. I give her a hug. Emmy tenses up slightly, so I pat her head in what I hope is a reassuring manner. Hey, settle down. I'm fine, okay? No worries. I can feel Emmy's body relax as I continue to assure her I'm fine. Arms wrap around me as if she's trying to confirm that I'm not about to fall over dead. <laughs> I catch a whiff of her hair. It smells like sweet uh, um, or how adrenaline should smell. It's the scene or it's the scent of activity and a hint of strawberries <laughs> um, from her shampoo, I suspect. I just need to remember to take my medicine, that's all. Don't worry about it, it's not your fault. You're sure? Her voice is muffled, mostly because at the moment her face is pressed into my chest. Yeah, I'm sure. I just need to take it a little easy for the next few days. 
It suddenly occurs to me how close the two of us are. It also occurs to me how nice being the how nice being this close feels. I can feel Emmy's heartbeat calming down, and I have ugh, calming down, and I have to resist the urge to rest my chin on top of her head. Thank goodness, you really had me worried there, Hisao. Uh, Emmy, you uh, you going to come in here anytime soon? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I interrupting? The two of us <laughs> spring apart as if the other just caught on fire. Brushes her hair back nervously and laughs. Of course not. I, uh, see you later, okay? Oh, uh, and Hisao. Hmm? Take your damn medicine! <laughs> this last phrase is punctual by a punch to the shoulder. Yeah, I, I'll remember. See you later. The nurse smiles again like he's in on some joke I don't know about and waves to me as I as I head for my room, feeling a burn in my cheeks. I need a shower. A cold one. If the thought if the thought running through if the thoughts running through my head now are any indication. She was really soft. My pills are waiting for me when I make it to my room. I swallow them without a second thought. I don't know why I didn't think of I don't know why I didn't think of waiting until after the the runs to take them. For some reason, I figured it was when I woke up or not at all. No. They only need to be taken every 24 hours. The exact time of, of day doesn't factor uh, into it. Strange that it feels so natural for me to go up to the roof these days. I never would have done such a thing at my old school. Those days, I like to eat alone. No, that's not quite true. Though, I like to sit alone, I also like to watch people. I always figured that was the sort of person I was, but it appears I was wrong. Then again, I also thought I was the sort of person who had a normal heart. Oh, a normal heart. So there you have it. I don't know myself that well. Now, now I'm on the roof so that I can have lunch with a couple of people. And they are both girls, which is even stranger. Oddly enough, I feel closer to Emmy and Rin than I felt to anyone at my old school. Somehow, I get the feeling that they'd at least visit me if I wound up in the hospital. Oh god, the, f the floor! Or like the, the, the ceiling or what roof or whatnot of the school. It's hurting my eyes. God damn, ugh. Okay, eh. I focus on the view from the roof. Banishing such, banishing such thoughts from my head. There's a light breeze blowing and the sun is shining high in the sky. The sky itself is a deep blue with hardly a cloud in it. It's gotten pleasantly warm and as I sit down to wait for my friends, I close my eyes and enjoy the feeling of the sun seeping into my skin. It's saying that there's like, like audio or so coming from the game, but for some reason I'm not hearing it. Hold up. Seems to have fallen asleep on us, Rin. Maybe he's faking. To look to lull us into a false sense of security. Why would he do that? No idea. Still, you make a good point. We should kick him or something to make sure he's really asleep. Huh? What? Emmy looks over me like only a short girl can, peering at me intently. Oh, you're awake. I guess we don't have to kick you then. Was it part of your master plan? What are you talking about? But Emmy shrugs, her twin tails bouncing with emotion. I'm not sure either. You must be pretty tired to fall asleep out here. Although, it's pretty comfortable, I suppose. She, pl uh, she plops down next to me and begins to eat. Okay. Rin sits opposite from the two of us. A move which only makes me more aware of the girl sitting next to me. If I don't know any better, I'd swear Rin did it on purpose. I concentrate on my food, trying uh, to tune out the majority of the conversation that Rin and Emmy are having. Despite my best efforts, however, I still find myself glancing over at Emmy whenever she speaks. I, I notice how she uh, purses her lips when she's thinking about something, uh, squinting slightly as if that would improve her thinking ability. Rin says, uh, says something that makes Emmy laugh, uh, and I notice, perhaps the first time, 
how she laughs with her whole body rocking back and forth, her head thrown back almost like she's about to fall over. I probably look like a creep. It's about this time that I realize Emmy's looking at me. Oh shoot. Her voice raises slightly so she's uh so she's probably yeah, so she's probably just asked me a question. Sorry, I zoned out for a moment. Rolls her eyes with a slight quirk of the eyebrow. Is the only sign is the only sign that Ren's even paying attention. I say, did you get a career survey in her class too? You know, one of those what do you want to do after high school things. I don't think so. Maybe we'll get one tomorrow. What are you going to put down? That's a really good question. So in the lily path, we uh, decided to go down the the route of... Why am I lagging? Oh my god, there we go. I don't know why it just lags like that. In um the emmy path, in the in lily path, we decided to go down the path of becoming a biology teacher. Or like a science teacher, not biology. I don't think it was specifically biology, but like a science teacher. That's what we were going to become. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really good question. Or I don't think, maybe... Well, I know it was something to do with science. I don't entirely- I don't remember if he specifically mentioned becoming a science teacher, but I'm pretty sure that's what he was, uh, going for because, you know, he was getting a whole lot of uh, inspiration from, uh, Muto or Muto- or oh, whatever his name is, the teacher and stuff. I spoke with him and, yeah, and all that stuff. But either way, uh, that's a really good question. Goddamn, why are you- I guess I always figured I'd go to college after high school, but I have no idea what I'd do once I got there. And with the heart attack and all, I had really been concentrating on each day as it came rather than making long-term plans. I suppose I can safely start planning ahead again. I've always liked having at least a vague plan for my future, so it'll be nice to come up with one again. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that Right now, I've got absolutely no clue. <laughs> I always I always kind of assumed I'd figure it out in college. That or just become a salaryman, that's pretty popular. But do I really want to? That's a tough question. I guess I don't really want to do anything. You don't sound very excited about that one, do you? She laughs as she says this, and I'm caught up in her laugh again. It's so girlish. High and giggly, like a... Well, pardon the cliché, like a babbling brook. It bubbles out of her, uh, uh, starting in her belly and working its way up to her, up her throat. I can't help but laugh myself. It's infectious. I guess I'm pretty unhappy with the salaryman. Gah, the salaryman idea. But to be honest, I haven't given much thought to the future recently. I suppose that these days I've been more concerned with living one day at a time considers this uh, for a moment and grin. That's a pretty uh, good idea, he Sal. I just wrote down pirate. What do you mean, a pirate? Pir pirate? Uh, pirates usually only are missing one leg, you're missing both of them, so I don't think you can. <laughs> I'm momentarily stunned, then I start laughing. I stop myself and manage to gasp out the question. You're, you're not actually serious, are you? Looks mock, um, looks mock offended. Well, I've got the legs for it already, uh, so I just figured, like I said, you know, uh, you only have to be missing one leg to become a pirate. <laughs> Even Rin seems amused by this. Just you wait, I'll be the terror of the high seas. I'll show you all. I've even been working on my pirate voice. He suddenly springs up and began swaggering up and down the rooftop shouting orders. Yarmy hearties. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, give them a broadside with the long guns. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll wear their guts for garters. Okay. Do you even know what that means? Rin's unexpected interruption stops Emmy in her tracks. Not really, but it's all in the delivery. Ringing of the bells prevents her from demonstrating her point further. Emmy dashes off immediately, leaving Ren, Rin and myself alone on a roof. Rin stares at me intently for a few moments. Is there something wrong? Rin con considers the question closely for a moment. After a lengthy pause, she shakes her head. No. Nope. Oh, um, I was staring then. Rin shakes her head again. Nope, I don't get it. Get what? 
the staring thing. You, you two seem to, but I don't. Great. She saw me staring. Now she's probably thinking I'm a pervert or something. <laughs> Actually, probably not. This is Rin we're talking about after all. Still, I feel the need to defend myself. I wasn't staring, I was just tired. Rin actually snorts at this, but she doesn't say anything. No, really, I was just distracted is all. Eager to end the conversation, I head back down to class. No! Huh. I'm greeted by the two specters of Shizune and Misha, looking like they mean business. Well, Shizune looks like she means business anyway. Misha just looks like she's about to start laughing at any moment. <laughs> Up on the roof again, Hikchan. You know that's dangerous, don't you? That's right. The school cannot be held responsible for any injury that comes from being up there, you know. Furthermore, we could report you for breaking the rules. Amisha leans in and whispers, uh, conspiratorially. But we won't, Tikchan. You three are too cute together. She strains up again, laughing at my sudden blush. Wahahaha. <laughs> okay. I remember the, the Kenji ending, you know? Uh, d didn't, uh... We do the uh, unalive. Didn't we unalive ourselves in the Kenji ending? It was either that or we were very badly injured because I am pretty sure we did jump off the roof. <laughs> I, I hold up. I need to I do something with my hair like that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, that, that looks kind of weird. I'll just keep my hair like that. Okay. You're too easy to tease, Heek Chan. Hey, come on. I'm still n I'm still new here, sort of. Isn't it mean to pick on the newcomer like this? Nope. It's to help you get accumulated to your new surroundings. Ah, I see. Well, do you have to be overzealous about it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> ah, that aside, Hee-chan, we were looking for you this morning, but you weren't in your room. Of course I wasn't. I was out for my morning exercise, or during class. Right, bright and early. Unlike you. Jizune looks peeved, and I'm <laughs> I'm a beat later. So does Misha. Or she tries to at any rate. That was because of student council business. We should be grateful that we uh, that we worked so hard for you. Oh, I am. I am. So, what did you need me for? Not another attempt to rope me uh into their uh, to do their dirty work, I hope. We had to give you something, but since you weren't around, we dropped it off in your room. Something like what? Oh, you'll find out when you get back, Ikchan. Wahaha. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll find out when you get back, Ikchan. Wahaha. <laughs> okay. I mean, why do we keep lagging? Amuto enters the room, ends our conversation, and we all head to our seats. It's only after I've settled down at my desk and the teacher starts talking about something. Or other that something odd strikes me. What did Rin mean you two seem to? Or uh, you two seem to, yeah. <laughs> was Emmy staring at something too? For a brief moment, I considered the possibility that Emmy was, Emmy was staring at me uh, the way I was staring at her. Of course, that's ridiculous. Still, I can't deny that I would, that I would mind. I wouldn't mind <laughs> if it were true. But it's best not to think of, think of that. No need to get my hopes up. Come to think of it, when did I start having hopes like that anyway? I shake my head in an attempt to clear it and focus on the lesson. After class, I make my way to my room. Muto really piled on the homework today. Before I can open my door, however, I am suddenly intercepted by Kenji, who has just exploded out of his room in a flurry of papers. Hey, we need to talk. These rooftop shenanigans of yours, man. They've got to stop. What? You, uh, you're, uh, you're running around on the rooftop with the limbless wonders? They're women, man. You'll get yourself killed running around like that. I don't follow. Kenji sighs and adjusts his glass before we can understand as an attempt of, at explaining, uh, explaining himself. Okay. Look, we're friends. So I'm telling you this from, uh, for your own good. But, um, but if I were going to kill someone, I do it by throwing them off the roof and making it look like an accident. And if I thought of it, you can be sure they've thought of it too. 
they're crafty. Almost as crafty as I am. I see. Good. I'm glad we had this chat. Uh, loan me 500 yen. I'm sorry. I need to get a drink, man. I've been inside all day and the tap water's been compromised, as I'm sure you know. So I need to stock up on something canned. Got it. But to do that, I need 500 yen. And since I've just saved your life with my timely advice, you can at least spare me 500 yen. If, <laughs> if it'll, uh, or, you know, if it'll make him go away, 500 yen is a bargain. I hand the money over to Kenji, who nods and thanks and, dash and dashes off down the hallway. But not before he locks his door. What an exhausting person. I'd better go in case he changes his mind. As I close the door, my heels tap against something lying on the floor. It's a brightly colored rectangle of paper. This must be the something Misha mentioned before. Probably a student council uh, leaflet she slid under the door. However, when I picked it up, I find that I couldn't have been more wrong. Somehow, act somehow someone actually wrote me an old-fashioned handwritten paper letter. Who bothers doing something like that? In, in this day and age anyway. Yet, as unlikely as the prospect of receiving one sounds, this is definitely a letter I have in my hands. I was planning on finishing my homework, getting some dinner, and going to bed uh, in order to be ready for tomorrow's mor morning's run. Okay. The letter has a naturally common interest. I sit at my desk to examine its property properly. Uh, it's the first piece of mail I've received here at Yamaku, so I would feel special even if it wasn't something as rare as handwritten letter. Uh, what causes me even more uh, trepidation is the name of the sender written uh, near uh, neatly on the back of the envelope. It will not go. Okay, I have no idea why she would write to me. I haven't been in contact with anyone from my old school since I transferred, and Iwanako is the last person I'd expect to want uh, to want to write me a letter. The last time I saw Iwanako was terribly awkward, and embarrassingly so. She came to my hospital room, uh, peeled me an apple out of the corset, cord cord uh, <laughs> and then we practically sat in silence for half an hour. She said goodbye and didn't look me in the eye who uh, the, in the eye when she closed the door. It might have been a natural end to the series of visits that were probably pretty painful for both of us. Every time she visits me in the hospital, I wanted to talk to her, but something stopped me every time. Every time uh, that I didn't speak made the next time even harder. Uh, she looked so guilty that I didn't want to say anything that might upset her and I never could figure out the right words to say. I think Iwanaku blamed herself for the heart attack. That's ridiculous, of course, um, but knowing it, knowing it and believing it are two very different things. I told her that it wasn't her fault, and I really think she understood that if, I, if it hadn't been that, uh, then, uh, then sooner or later something else would have made my heart give out. Yet she looked so hopelessly sad, um, every time she opened that door and entered my room. So I never managed to say the things I wanted to say. In the end, that might have hurt her even more. Uh, carefully, I open the envelope and draw the folder, the folded letter from within. Okay. Uh, so guys, I'm going to end the video here. Why did, why did it always look like? It looks really weird up there. I don't know why. But guys, I'm going to end the video here. This video is a bit uh, shorter than the other Katawa Shoujo videos. I'm just um, I wanted I wanted to make it shorter because I have videos to edit and then I have something to do after this. So yeah, I'm going to make this video short. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably gonna skip past the the letter maybe, um, or I might read it next video. I don't really know. It's because I did we did read the letter once before in the lily path. So either way guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye.